What's in this trailer is my Porsche Cup car. We're here at Streets of Willow. We're going to be testing my race car for the first time ever. What's the goal with all this? Simple. We're here to figure out what the car needs and what I need as a driver to get this car ready to go wheel to wheel racing. We are finally going to test out the Porsche race car. In the trailer you guys saw, we just loaded up the spec Boxster and tomorrow is finally our first day ever testing this car. So we're going out with something called Porsche Owners Club, which is the organization here that puts on all the Porsche events. This is uh, separate from what I got my racing license for, but if I wanna do spec Boxster racing and move up in the Porsche GT category, this is where we start. I'm super pumped for this because this is our first time ever testing and racing a full on race car. So we got a lot to learn. We got to figure out what's going to be wrong with the car, what we're going to need to get, spare things. Tim, am I missing anything? No. First race is coming up quick and tomorrow is the test day. Loaded up, ready to go to the track. Special guest along with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, baby? You ready? Yes, this is gonna be sick. We're having a boys weekend. Nate's coming out with us this time to come help us film, shoot, get some awesome content. And his first time ever out at a race event like this. Look at it, it dude. It looks right at home. It does. We added a new WRX to the collection out of this weekend. This is gonna be sick. We've got the squad coming, Tim Bros loaded up. This is gonna be a fun weekend and something that we have been wanting to do for such a long time. Granted, this is a time, a time attack esque it's time trial event but it's completely different being as this car is going to be a wheel wheel race car and it's a different style of driving not necessarily finding the fastest time but figure out how long this car is going to last on track learning how to use the brakes in moderation and keep the tires grippy and not not losing it i guess i don't know it's gonna be different but it's gonna be a lot of fun and i'm excited to take you guys along for this brand new journey we've got a two and a half hour drive to the track let's go Race car hotel. You know, Tim, over the years, we've really upgraded our hotel stays yes, for the track are. days. You're lucky, Nate. I should have stuck you in the Super Super 8 or whatever the f it is. Dude, we've stayed in some raunchy some ass sketchy. hotels, yeah, dude. Yeah, like, so. One was we never got I could imagine. One was so bad, Nate, that when we got in the room, there was like cigarette burns in the sheets and we didn't even get, we just, we laid like this. <laughs> you didn't get under the sheets? <laughs> I wouldn't know either. <laughs> do I just sleep on the couch or do I lie on that? You give it a second. And Our toes are back. gonna be definitely touching tonight. <laughs> Intertwined. <laughs> Let me get <laughs> You can hear how crunchy it is. Late night for an early morning. Guys, Dustin's a real one. He gave me the bed. I thought that was gonna be me. Dab me up, dog. Dab me up, dog. Real deal is, if the homies sleep good tonight, if the team sleeps good, we all do good tomorrow. So I guess this is where we're gonna end it for tonight. We'll see them in the morning. See you guys for the first track day in the Porsche. Jeez, man. My car's got like 150 horsepower. Some guy. sick cars here, dude. Oh, yeah. Gotta start somewhere. I don't think this thing's official until she's got a little piece of legends on her. I'm gonna say right, right there. Now it's official. 
Green group open passing. Dude, this is gonna be so different. I've driven streets a thousand times, but on small JDM cars. My fastest time here was in the Civic, the Type R, and it was a 122, 121 or 122, I have to fact check myself there. And I have no idea what to expect today in the Boxster. But like I said, it's a different type of driving. This is not a time attack drive where we're gonna go for the fastest times. We're just gonna figure this car out to start out with and incrementally get faster. That way we see if anything breaks on this car, if we need anything. Honestly, I have no idea. So we're just gonna figure it out today and see how fast we can get this thing to prepare us for wheel to wheel racing, which is just a whole different animal. Check, check, mic check. First up, tech. I need my helmet and stuff. that bad boy out. You like that? <laughs> Tech inspection complete. Now they said today's a little bit slower. Usually they are packed with cars, but as summer rolls around, it gets hot as heck. So we're having a smaller group, which is actually gonna be really nice for us. So let's go learn some things at the driver's meeting. And then I think we'll get the car ready and get out on track. You ready, Tim? Yes. No, this kind of works out in our favor. I know we wanted lots of cars here to get used to being with cars. Today's a time trial event, so it wouldn't have been a wheel-to-wheel -wheel experience, but I wanted to get an experience of having a lot of Porsches on track, because these guys that drive these and race these in the spec boxer category are fast. And we do have a couple of guys here today. So we're about to go out for the first test. First time ever driving this car, ever driving rear-wheel drive, mid-engine. It's gonna be an experience, but we're gonna send. This is definitely the most raw, 150 horsepower I will ever feel. So let's go have some fun. All the boys are going out. All right, first breakdown of driving the Boxster. This was so rad, and it's everything that I wanted it to be. It is slow, but the 150 to 190 horsepower that this car has is the most raw feeling experience that I've ever had driving a car. It's fantastic. So as you guys know, and as we've told you throughout the video, this car is built for a different purpose. So we are so used to time attack and attacking hard every single time. Now it's time to switch it up a little bit. Uh, I've never driven a car like this, meaning like a rear wheel drive mid engine car. So you can see here a lot to learn uh it feels a lot different it rotates like a rear wheel drive car does but also has some characteristics of a front wheel drive car that it kind of wants to push you it's very strange but we're learning we're figuring it out and we're incrementally getting faster so the whole purpose of today was to test the car out to see what the car needs uh if anything breaks on the car and for me to get accustomed to driving this car because like I told you guys, the guys that drive the spec boxers, they've been doing it for years and years and they're fast in these cars. I'm the new guy. I'm definitely the youngest guy here. I'm probably the youngest guy that'll be racing with these guys. It's most important that I just figure it out and get used to it and incrementally get faster, like I said. And that's exactly what we did today. Figuring it out, figuring out the rotation of this car and how this thing likes to be driven. It's really, really exciting. So first session went awesome and the car felt great.
thing is freaking intense, dude. This is the most fun 200 horsepower I've ever driven in my whole life. Holy crap, dude. Session number one down in the boxer. This was incredible. I'm so happy that we decided to just take this thing out for one of these test days because I have so much to learn. Sitting in the driver's seat of this car, not knowing what to expect and then getting out there and actually driving it, it is a whole different world. And I have a lot to learn about this car. But one thing that we purposely did was we had spare tires that have previously been used that we honestly don't know the, li the lifespan of these tires or how much they've previously been used. And I want to go out on old tires. So I want this car as slick as it can possibly be. Because when we get a fresh set on, it's going to be very, very grippy. And I wanted to learn in this car when it's slippery and that's exactly what we're doing we did have an incident up at the top it was weird this car has zero assist no abs obviously no traction control nothing i'm not really sure what happened i pressed the brake and it like automatically spun me there's also going to be alignment tweaks to go along with this so i'm taking note and there's a lot of adjustment that we can make within the alignment of this car to also help tailor it to the way that i drive so this is just the start baby the good news is this thing is awesome it's raw and i freaking love it dude how's it sound from the exterior it sounds really cool what was your fastest time there 29 you know? which is sick okay 129 yeah which Hell is yeah. which is pretty dope so we got a long day ahead of us and it's gonna be freaking hot so i don't expect times to get much faster but learning the car actually times might get faster the more i get comfortable with the car we'll see but overall car feels great i just got a lot to learn Round two, baby. Are you ready, boys? Let's get it. So this time we actually have another boxer that's gonna be out with us, which is really nice. I did speak to Keith over in the blue boxer. He gave me some pointers and some tips. I'm gonna try and, he just put a fresh set of stickies on and he's going for like a really hot lap time. So I'm gonna try and stick with him if I can. It really helps out a lot when you have other people in a similar spec car to kind of learn off of. A big thing is I've just never driven or ridden in anything that's close to this. So really learning the car and how it rotates and how it drives is the most important thing today. So session two, let's go have some fun. Session two, let's go. No, okay. Uh, session two, I definitely got way more comfortable with the car and was able to keep the car flat out in so many areas that I thought that it would lose traction in. It was really nice. I think uh, that, that first session was definitely a great learning session and now I was just kind of ready to send it and see how far we could push the limits of the car, which I definitely think we found out. The car just has a base alignment as well as we have old tires with unknown amount of track days and laps put in on them that's probably the best way i could have learned the car and i got so comfortable with the car throughout the day uh session two was definitely the the big one where we kind of had that switch flip and i just became so much more comfortable with the car was able to really really send it and for me it was great because i could really figure out the way the car drove and how it liked to be rotated if that makes sense so session two was awesome we did really really well we improved almost two or three seconds i can't remember if this was this session or the session after that but you'll see it was really great the car feels awesome this flat six sounds phenomenal and just having such a raw car like this to drive makes it that much better
getting out there now, baby. I'm getting used to it. I'm sliding around. This thing is fucking awesome. It is so good. It's so unbelievably slow, but it's so raw and exciting. I've got a lot to learn, don't get me wrong, but we're cooking out there and I'm feeling really, really good. Every lap, I feel like I'm getting more and more comfortable. I mean, I just shaved off almost like three seconds off of my lap time. Damn, what'd you hit? 27.5. <laughs> consistently, oh, yeah. consistently. Yeah. So like, I'm getting more used to it, not as afraid of it. I found, this is interesting with the mid-engine rear wheel drive. To catch it, you just foot to the floor, baby. Cook it. Good day, so far. sideways out there. Dude, I'm figuring it out. It's cool. So this was the third session we went out. I'm really starting to get a hang of the car. You know what it is. You know the deal. <sighs> hydration, baby. But for real, hydration on a hot day like today after racing all day, so clutch. Lime is also the best flavor in case you guys want to try it out. Like I said, beginning, I'm really stoked on the car. I'm excited to make the changes with WR Technica to the alignment and the way that I drive. And she's going to be a ripper. We got our SCCA license, and the point of doing these test days here is to get our POC license to race with the Porsches. So after this, we should be good to go. Spicy. It's hot. These tires are slick, but we're getting faster and faster. My optimal is a 26. I'm pumped, baby. Ultimately, massive, massive W for the Boxster. The car feels fantastic. I feel like this car suits me as a driver really nicely, and I know I've said it a million times. Once we get this thing set up, so tires, fresh alignment. We got a ton of like uh, the data stuff. That's one thing I really want to do with this car is uh, learn how to read data. So we got a full aim system that should be coming in for the next time that we go out and uh, we'll be able to like monitor literally everything, which is going to be sick. But other than that, it's ripper baby, it's sick. car. It's a good race car. Well, mission freaking accomplished. The Porsche feels amazing. We know what we need. I'm coming home with the car. It's nice. It's super dope. Seriously though, I'm going to try and find another test day for this car before we actually go wheel to wheel racing, but it's coming up quick. I'm either going to do it at Sonoma or we're going to Seiko, which would be amazing. Today's test could not have gone any more perfect. It's exactly what I was thinking. Uh, I know what I got to do for the car now. I know how the car drives and I think we're ready to go. Oh, so epic. This is everything I could have wanted. It's just the, it's the baby GT3 I've always wanted. It's so good. Yeah, it's extremely windy. We are gonna load this thing up and head back home. It has been a long, long day, and I think we're all beat. Hot. We got up at six. Six, like six hours of sleep. Hey, we crushed it. Good driving, we crushed looking it. sharp. Once you get tires on that thing, you're gonna be doing like 124s. Rippers. What did you think about today, Tim? I, I feel like you learned the car very quickly and I can't wait for you to get wheel to wheel with people because that's going to be the ultimate test. That's the ultimate test. That's, that's the, that's the kicker. So, <laughs> all right, strap her down. See you guys back at the shop. We did it, we made it home. Successful test Porsche day. I'm very excited to see where this car is gonna lead me. This changes everything. It's gonna be such a great transition coming from the time attack world and going into wheel to wheel. It's just, 
there's nothing like it. And I'm so excited to take you guys along. Uh, I'm still in the works of seeing if I am able to join the Sonoma wheel to wheel race, which is in like three weeks, which would be insane to be with 40 other boxers on track racing at Sonoma Raceway. That'd be epic. Today's test went really well. The only thing that we do have wrong is a third gear grind, which seems pretty common with these cars. I'm gonna check into it, but yeah, successful test day, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's a lot more to come, so stay tuned. Uh, I hope you guys are excited about the wheel-to-wheel -wheel adventure, and I'm excited to take you guys along. But either way, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here. We got a lot of stuff coming in the shop this week and just in life in general, so I hope you guys are stoked for that. To say thank you guys for watching, and if you have, <laughs> I guess Sparkle wants to say that as well. Hey, bud. Oh, jeez, check this out. Let's see if he catches it. Nice. Thank you guys for watching. If you have not already, make sure you guys hit that like button. Leave us a comment down below about what you guys think about today's video style. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. We will see you guys for the next episode. Peace out.